new vlog to share with you some updates of what I'm doing in the kingdom these days. So I, working right now, got into work on my Nutcracker series. I'm making good progress and the series will arrive in my shop before the end of the month. Uh, in a few days, I will keep you updated with that on my blog and on my newsletter. So I will let you know a few days in advance when they are arriving. I'm doing two nutcrackers, I'm finishing the nutcrackers. Uh, Marie, the little girl in the Alexandre Dumas version, is pretty much finished, so you're going to see her. And I'm still working on the King Mouse, so that's what I'm doing during the day, during the night. I'm still working on my secret project I mentioned in my previous video, so I'm doing that few hours uh, at night, not during the day, and I'm still continuing mainly to work on my nutcracker series, but you will see some updates of that later probably at the beginning of february i'm making good progress so i'm happy uh, yes that's it and we are still in france not on under lockdown right now i cross my fingers it's going to stay like that because we only have a uh, curfew uh, at six o'clock at the end of the day but it's fine for me it doesn't change anything um, but we can still move and do what we want so pretty much Gail, you have seen her in the World Warp video we did last year in January. She has a YouTube channel now called Le Labyrinthe des Curiosités. You can see her. She uploads new videos every month and we have planned to do other videos later this year. Some escapades and things, nice things. So you will, you will see her on my channel too a little later this year, but you can visit her too. She is going to have other nice things coming. And she came to see me. I had some questions. Uh, some question. A few months ago, if I was baking, cooking, what sort of things I was doing, really not a lot. I plan to master two or three 
desserts, like my favorite desserts of all time, the basic, simple, good desserts you can uh, cook at home, bake at home. Um, this one is my absolute favorite one. It's just super basic, simple. This is what I use. This is what I used to eat every Sunday in my, with my family as a Sunday dessert for the Sunday uh, lunch. It's close to la tarte à if you have been in France or if you know this dessert, this apple tart, which is very thick. The wheel tarte à is very thick, the dough is a bit different. And this one is not exactly that. It's the, an, an upside down apple tart, but it's supposed to be crunchy and totally caramelized on the top. And mine was not. I did it twice, this dessert already in January, and I plan to do it till I really master the texture, the crunchiness of it. It's very thin, very light, but crunchy and interesting and melting in your mouth. It's just the perfect apple tart. I think there is no, no competition for this tart. It's just the absolute best. Quite simple and basic, very few ingredients. But for now, I think I did a mistake. I did, I used a, a piece of paper that you can put on your in your mold and I think it's a mistake because yes it doesn't stick on it but you don't have the caramelized effect so I'm going to try next time without the paper and see how it works probably it's going to stick a lot so you have very few minutes to remove it from the mold Elle mange, mais n'importe quoi. Un super bruit en tout cas. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I will see you very soon with other videos. I have a video coming with reorganization, decluttering of my studio. I like to do that now every January, so you're going to see that very soon. And my Nutcracker series is coming soon also. I will keep you updated with that. You will see uh, some finished photos of that very soon. Thank you very much. You can subscribe if you don't want to miss all the nice videos coming and I promise you there will be some really nice things this winter. Um, you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I hope to see you very soon and for now I will leave you here. <laughs>